The Portland Landmark Commission is asking City Hall to update its inventory of historic homes, making it more difficult to tear them down. It's part of the ongoing effort to deal with the increase in lot splitting that's happening all over the city, but can it really help slow down the demolitions and infill? Tim Becker is going beyond the headlines to find out, Tim. Yeah, one of the main points that the Landmark Commission hammered home here to City Council today is that the historic nature of neighborhoods needs to be preserved. The demolitions of some older homes to make way for newer developments is undermining that. 2013 set a record for demolitions. Brian Emmerich showed city commissioners and the emotionally vested full house crowd what he had earlier showed me. This will give you a really good example and it shows where it's happening. I'm having a horrible time with this. I can't stop crying. The complexion of Portland's neighborhoods is changing, and the Historic Landmarks Commission wants to make sure that history isn't lost when older homes are replaced. You start losing too many of those in the neighborhood, and it really does affect the livability and what you recognize and, and feel, you know, is, is your community. The weakness is really the rules and regulations that we don't have. It's an ever-growing hot-button issue, and also part of why the commission's recommendations here today include removing the demolition permit delay exception a loophole that developers have found. Developers are pretty savvy. They figured out that, well, if I just come in and pull the demolition permit, I can tear that house down and so long as I'm applying for one more to replace it, and then I'll come back next week and I'll apply for the apply second for the or third second unit house. or, yeah, or the lot division. They also recommend better defining the term demolition to close more loopholes and creating a demolition task force that can look into things like revising zoning code. I found out about one-fifth of Portland's homes now sit on land that is zoned for higher density. Homes like this one in northwest Portland, where neighbors kept it from being torn down to build seven row houses, something the commission wants to see more of. But we want to make sure we're basically being proactive and giving you guys at least some of our thoughts on this for, for your consideration. Can we expect maybe an improvement in the demolition and lot splitting situation if they take your advice? Yeah, I think so. Well, another key item that the commission asked for here today is an updated inventory of the city's historic homes and resources. Last time that list was updated was in 1984. We're going to be sure to follow this story now and let you know if city council acts on any of these recommendations. Back to you.